Do you know about the big changes coming to Zillow when it comes to buyer connections when inquiring about properties? If you don't, as a lot of agents in our marketplace have no idea about this, check out this week's episode of Tom's Take. We're going to break it down and tell you what it means if you're thinking about selling your home. I'm Tom Tool. Welcome to Tom's Take. Big changes are coming to Zillow in about a month in our marketplace. So I'm talking about obviously Pennsylvania here, the Mid-Atlantic region. This is already launched in many places in the country. So I've got some great data on what's happening. I have a clear understanding of where we are and we're, we're going to benefit here because we haven't launched yet. So anyone thinking about selling your home, it's really important to pay attention. I've got two key questions you need to be asking to anyone you interview for the job of selling your home. So one, what, is, what does this all mean and how does Zillow work right now? So let me kind of explain that real quickly. So on Zillow, if your home is listed for sale, there's a picture of it here and you've got three people appearing on the right hand side and they are there because they're advertising to get impressions in your zip code. It's not leads that they're buying, it's impressions. They appear next to a home for sale a certain amount of times based on whatever their program, budget, and, 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 and spend is in terms of advertising with Zillow. So that's how it works right now. So if you're a seller and your agent is not what's called a premier agent, you have three realtors that are appearing next to your home that have nothing to do with the property. So the first question you need to be asking to anyone you interview is, are you a premier agent on Zillow? This is critical because otherwise, when a buyer says, hi, here's my cell phone and email, I'm interested in your property, that inquiry is going to someone that has nothing to do with your property. So that realtor doesn't care if they sell your home or they sell another home in the neighborhood or somewhere totally different. They are just looking for a buyer. So this is really, really critical. And I want you to ask everyone you're talking to about the job of selling your home, are you a premier agent? That is number one. So what happens currently is someone clicks on that, they select an agent to talk to, it goes right to their phone, their email, and then they have to respond. The challenge Zillow is seeing is that only 50% of their inbound inquiries about properties are getting a phone call back right now, which is insane to me. I believe it because I know what realtors are like and it takes days, weeks to return phone calls, so I certainly understand that. When someone's inquiring about a property, speed to lead is a real thing. So we have a standard on our team that you need to respond to all our inbound leads within five minutes or less. That's a minimum standard to be on our team. Not every team, not every agent is like that or they can't handle it because they have too much going on and it's a one or two person operation. Another great example of where a team outperforms an individual. So that's what's happening right now. The change that is going to take place, and this is gonna be at the end of November for our marketplace as of right now, it's gotten moved back twice. So not a stone cold date, but this is at the end of November. What's going to happen is Zillow is going to reach out first to that buyer and make sure everyone gets a response because a 50% response rate is not great. I get where they're coming from, I understand it, and the consumer deserves better. So they're gonna make a live connection once they get that, that inbound inquiry on the phone, they ask some qualifying questions, normal stuff that people ask buyers when they're on the phone if they're an agent, and then they're gonna make a live connection. And that live connection, you have 20 seconds to answer the phone or it's going to go to somebody else because Zillow's main issue here is people are not talking to an agent, which I can understand. If someone was only picking up the phone 50% of the time, I would have a major issue with that and that person wouldn't be working with me very clearly. So I get it, I understand it. That's not the point. The point is I'm not Zillow, I'm here to help you sell your home and your agent, anyone you're interviewing should be understanding this process and have a system in place to handle it. So the second question you need to be asking to anyone you interview for the job of selling your home is what is your plan to ensure the phone gets picked up no matter what when a Zillow call comes in. And if they're not a premier agent, they're not even in play here. So that's why that's question one. And question two is what's the infrastructure set up to make sure someone picks up the phone? So we've got systems in place. I've been talking to Zillow and our rep there for months to make sure it's not gonna be an issue for any of our clients because a ton of people go to Zillow, a ton of people inquire about properties there, and the reason we're different is because we answer the phone, we respond, and we wanna get those people qualified and into our clients' homes for a tour. That's what we're looking to do. That's our job as a listing agent. So those two questions are what you need to be asking. 
And if the answer comes back no to either one of them, or I don't know, or I don't have the system in place, you need to really think about if that's the kind of agent you want selling your property. This is the way the world is going. It's about speed the lead, hustle, tech savvy. And if your agent is not doing that, you could be losing out on business. Remember, and, and I shouldn't say business, but potential buyers that are gonna buy your home, that's what you're losing out on. Remember, these people are raising their hand saying, hi, here's my name, here's my cell phone number, here's my email, I'm interested in buying your property. I wanna take a look at it. So if that call doesn't get returned, that's a big problem. If you get any questions about this, I am eyeballs deep in research on what has happened in the country so far and how our clients are gonna benefit. And we're really lucky because we can see how this has played out in other markets and make the proper adjustments so that our sellers are in a position where we're not skipping a beat. So if you've got questions, reach out to me directly. You got all my contact information here at the end of the video, and I'm happy to answer whatever you need. We'll be back next week with another great episode of Tom's Take, more content helping you stay ahead of the market. Talk to you soon.